instruments say your car stopped. I'm on foot now. Any luck contacting the council? Negative. Their guards are dead. But we've still got vital signs on the council's transponders. Where are they going? The shuttle pad above Shalmar Plaza. Dean is with them. If he can get them in range of that assassin, this is all over. On my way. like to hold still do they Sealed it behind them. Shellmark Plaza. Where's the council? Yeah, an elevator. They're trying to get to the shuttle. Knock. Someone's following them. Someone with a sword. Great. Got a ride for you, Shepard. Grab an elevator.
Okay, I'm in the shaft. Hang on, this will be a fast climb. Tell me that assassin hasn't reached the council. He's trying, but I'm making his elevator stop on every floor. Nice. I found our friend. What was that? Gunman, get down! Shepard's blocking our escape. She's with Cerberus. Everybody, hang on. Shepard, what's happening here? You know me better than this, Ash. I knew the old Shepard before Cerberus. Right now, I'm not sure who I'm dealing with. We don't have time to negotiate. You've been fooled, all of you. Odin is behind this attack. The Salarian Counselor confirmed it. Please, you have no proof. You never do. There are Cerberus soldiers in the elevator shaft behind us. If you open that door, they'll kill you all. We mistrusted Shepard before, and it did not help us. We don't have time to debate this. We're dead if we stay out here. I'm overriding the lock. I'm gonna regret this. No, you're not. Udina, step back from the console. To hell with this. Gun! Get the council back and cover that door. The door! Bailey! Made it as fast as we could, Shepard. Looks like you uh, took care of things. Something's not right. You said Cerberus was targeting us. Where did their soldiers go? Cerberus was right here, but they beat feet into the Keeper tunnels when they figured out we were coming. Sorry, Counselor, I'll say it plain. Shepard just saved the lot of you. And you have saved my life twice now, Shepard. I owe you both a personal debt, and one on behalf of Palavan. You don't owe me anything, Counselor. In times like this, we all stand together. Commander, do you have any idea why the elusive man would do this? No, I don't. But I plan to find out. All right, people. Principals are evacuated. We got a tunnel and a million more places to secure. Move it. Yes? Things didn't go as planned. The Council's still in control of the Citadel and Udina's dead. Udina was expendable. Now what? 
There are other plans in motion. I'll fill you in when you return. I'm surprised you let Shepard get the better of you, Ling. It won't happen again. Hmm. We'll see. We looked over every centimeter of those tunnels, Shepard. Your Cerberus pal is made out of smoke and mirrors. He likes to fight. He'll show up again. Pardon me if I'm not reassured by that. We can't even get an ID on him. He released a VI into the Citadel system that erased footage of him wherever he went. I guess he didn't trust that Adina's plan would come together. That reminds me, we got your friend Thane into Huerta Memorial. He's in for surgery. Apparently, uh, there's complications. Do you think he'll make it? I caught that they didn't have much drill blood on the Citadel. I notified his next of kin, his son, Koliat. He was the right blood type, but I don't know if he made it in time. We're pretty sure the route to the hospital is safe from Cerberus, if you want to see him. Uh, I'd go now. I'll get on it. Oh, and you can tell him the Salarian counselor says he's a hero. It just, uh, I don't know, make things easier for him? Uh, so many pieces to put back together since the Cerberus attack. We're reeling from the implications. Udina in league with Cerberus trying to murder the Council. These are dark days for all of us. You hear anything about your family out there? Not a peep. I always believed I'd get a chance to tell my ex-wife a few things. And my kids on Earth. I was supposed to visit them. First vacation in years, but I had to cancel when I got promoted. Don't give up hope, Bailey. Thanks, Shepard. I'm really trying not to think about it. Thought you'd be in the hospital. If I'm breathing, I'm working. I'm probably the worst I've ever been hurt. Fitting, I guess, given the state of the galaxy. But if Cerberus thinks a few slugs is gonna keep me out of action, they've got another thing coming. Can this station be defended? The internal security breaches have been patched, but we're dangerously low on manpower. We're grilling our own people and trying to figure out if Udina acted alone, but it's time-consuming. All in all, we're still vulnerable, but I think we've taken the right steps. All that time you were working for Udina, did you ever suspect? Always rubbed me a little wrong. Still, that traitorous bastard upped me. Probably made me for an idiot. <laughs> I guess I proved him right. He's dead and you're still here, Bailey. <laughs> Thanks to you. If you hadn't shown up, Udina and Cerberus would be dancing on my grave. How does the Citadel fit into the war now? Uh, the war finally found us. This is so far beyond our imagination, and we have been trained to expect the unexpected. Since the coup attempt, folks are shutting down and shutting in. I hear a lot of praying and crying. They're saying this is the war to end all wars. Well, I haven't seen anything to say they aren't right. No time for rest. Good luck, Bailey. Yeah, you too, Shepard. This is a problem of ours. Cerberus has changed their ciphers, and our codebreakers aren't getting anywhere at the moment. I've got our best teams working in shifts on it, but ensuring Citadel systems integrity is just gonna take time. If we can get some of their field encryption tools, maybe sample ciphers. I understand. Keep trying. My wife has just been packed to active duty, and I'm about to get shipped out too. I was told you might be able to help me. 
Of course. You're Neota's spouse, correct? I... Yes! How did you know that? We keep identity information on all permanent Citadel residents engaged in formal relationships with Asari. That way, should anyone require diplomatic aid, we can ensure prompt assistance. It's wonderful! Then you can help me send my daughter back to my wife's family? I... I'm afraid, however, that might be a bit difficult. Then they'll keep outmaneuvering our fleet in a sorry world. We'll keep burning. Thank you again. Metagel and synthetic blood, and we don't have enough volunteers. If we could get the rings of a loon from the Salian Nebula, we could declare a cultural crisis. People would have to listen. No, they're not just symbolic. The Asari revere a loon. She wore these rings after learning medicine from a Thame herself. She was like a Dalatress for your people. If we displayed her rings, we'd get more Asari support in the hospitals. There's got to be something. I don't know what Cerberus was packing, but we're going to lose this patient. Without a new treatment plan, we're stuck, and I can't think of anything beyond what we've already tried. I know, but I can't think of anything else. Can you? choose who lives or dies. That's not what we do. We help our patients, all of them. That's a nice sentiment, but it won't help when we run out of supplies. I've seen this happen in combat before. And we will run out of supplies. Have you seen the projections the administration center made? I have. The situation is going to get worse. What's your point? We can't deny the facts. If we prioritize them, some of our patients are in a much better position to survive. If we take care of them first and ration our supplies, we can save some now and enable ourselves to save more later. We cannot do that. We swore an oath to help the sick regardless of their economic situations or their places in society. Who are we to choose who lives or dies? That's not what we do. We help our patients, all of them. That's a nice sentiment, but it won't help. Everyone makes sacrifices in wartime. You'll make yours sooner or later. I'm sure I will. But I'll do it without betraying my oath or my patients. It's not that simple. If we aren't careful about this now, we'll end up losing everyone. Then we'll find a way. Look, we have more fortunate patients, right? Yes. And I hate to say it, but the fortunate ones have far better survival odds. <laughs> and more credits. So we ask them for donations. To get more supplies. For those without credits. What? Are you saying what I think you're saying? That's... You know, that, that actually might work. Can I help you? I'm looking for a Drell named Thane Krios. Well, we have a Drell, but not under that name. 
He was injured. Stab wound. He's a regular patient here. It's all right. It's all right. I see. The doctors were able to repair a lot of the trauma. However, Mr. Hmm. Krios is in the final stages of Keppel syndrome. At its worst, Keppel syndrome interferes with his blood's ability to carry oxygen. And he lost a lot. Now, they've given him transfusions. But frankly, there was a very limited supply of Drell blood on the Citadel. I'll get more. Give me his blood type. That's not going to work. Only one other Drell on the station is a match, and that Drell is in with him now. We did all we could to help him through surgery, but his body can't replace lost blood with new cells. Too much shock. His son, Koliat, he's in there saying his goodbyes. You might want to say yours. Commander Shepard, my father mentioned you were no longer incarcerated. I don't know if you remember me. I'm Koliak Krios. I came to donate blood and, well, he asked me to take off his oxygen mask so he could be comfortable. I don't think it will be very long. Your father helped me save a lot of lives. I'd like to be here. Of course. Commander, <clears throat> I'm afraid I won't be joining you again. You've done more than enough, Thane. <sighs> that assassin should be embarrassed. <sighs> A terminally ill Drell managed to stop him from reaching his target. I'll pass the word along. There is something I must do before it gets worse. I must... <coughs> Galahira, mistress of inscrutable depths. I ask forgiveness. Galahira, whose waves wear down stone and sand. Galahira, wash the sins from this one. And set him on the distant shore of the infinite spirit. Koliad, <coughs> you speak as the priests do. You have been spending time with them. I brought a prayer book. Commander, would you care to join me? Kalahira, this one's heart is pure, but beset by wickedness and contention. Guide this one to where the traveler never tires, the lover never leaves, the hungry never starve. Guide this one, Kalahira, and she will be a companion to you as she was to me. One moment, please. 